Welcome to my weekly blog, an invitation to see all the things in my life and all the things I do. Sometimes it might be boring, sometimes it might be sweet, even hoovering up to picking up dog poo and all the excitement in between. This is my decision to bring back the weekly vlogs. I do love a bit of a weekly vlog from other creators uh, and I used to do it myself. I used to daily vlog. Oh my goodness. So here I am having a go at bringing it back. So it's Monday. It's around, it's, it's, it's about 10ish. I spent this morning having a little bit of a chilled one. Normally Monday mornings are like, light. Let's go, go, go. It's Monday. I've gone the wrong way. Whoopsie. But we did have a pretty busy and long weekend. Phil's brother and sister-in-law and the twin babies came to stay with us. They came down on Thursday so we were just doing activities up until Sunday morning and then Sunday was like band day and I was sort of doing lots of things here there and sort of everywhere and then I had a, band pra a late band practice so I thought I'd take it easy this morning. Just sit in my dressing gown and do some week planning and drink a few coffees. This was just from a weekend of having twin babies that aren't even mine and I'm tired. So, you know, apologies if this is offensive to like people with their own children. But having said that, I loved having them over and I miss them already. Like this morning we woke up and we said, oh, I can't hear the babies anymore. So um, I said to Phil yesterday, I went, can we have a baby? <laughs> Anyway, so this morning um, I am driving to a recording studio in Norwich because I'm doing into and participating in a new project. Um, something that I've never done before properly. I'm a bit nervous. So yeah, like I said, I've not really done it before. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm also buzzing that I don't have to go to London to do this. They're coming up to me, which is great. <laughs> been here before it's well well good it's a it's like a pirate studios is a nationwide 24-hour like studio space like a gym but for making things and band practices it's well good um though someone in a room is like producing the loudest techno music and we can hear it in here, which isn't going to be any good. So the producer, Alex, she's just gone to have a polite word to ask if they can either put headphones in or turn it down a bit. Because can you hear that? Like thump, thump, thump. Oh, she's been gone wild. So I hope she's okay. <laughs> driving home I have got some work to catch up on and just do before the end of the day and get that sent over and then I'm probably gonna walk the dogs because they've been at home for four hours on their own hello hello how are we he good back outside again I finished my work for today hello hi hello can I sweet? Oh my god, I can't fit. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. My ass is so big. Can I'm coming hello. to get you. Hello, blue eyed beauty. <laughs> oh, hello, and then darling. if you open the door, mm. and look, it's got a pipe pod. Pipe pod. And, a, and a roof rack, so big ladders. I've got a new work van. Oh my god, it looks amazing. I spent ages. Look, I oh, it looks so it. good. Oh my god, you labelled it. You could have used my label maker. <laughs> Do you want to? No. Oh, I look so much better. Love it. Is that a magnet? Yeah. That's really strong. Uh, uh, like, oh, wow. <laughs> 
So some chores have been done. The washing that was hanging outside, I have put uh, up in here. Is it time to put the heating on yet? Who knows? Oh, and I just need to put this away. This is your food. This is yours, yes. We've got button-up box, fish, duck, and lamb treats. And they come frozen. And it's great, they love it. If you have picky dogs, I recommend this. I mean, these girls aren't that picky, to be honest, but I like giving this to them because it's just meat and veg. Phil's gone to tennis. I'm gonna have a bath. And relax and I'll sort some yeah 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 to bath I am bathed I have I was watching travel videos in the bath I don't watch travel vloggers as such I watch um I'm not trying to sound all quirky and different I want, yeah I don't watch travel vloggers I watch like travel oh my god I watch um, like travel agent slash experts, really informal. You would even say quite monotone reviews of like hotels. I don't know what it is. I just want the hard facts. I don't want any personality. I want really factual, in-depth information on these places, but it has to be like, so first up, you enter the lobby. As you can see, this is an expansive space that has been designed to replicate the ocean. It's got a concierge desk, a reception desk, and a bellboy, and also access to the elevators. Now, if we take a lift here, we'll go down this long corridor and we'll enter the first bar. This bar is Cuban themed. Here you can find yourself some drinks, some, some light snacks, um, which is all included in your package. That shit, like, uh, I watch cruise ship reviews, hotel reviews. I don't know, I just just love it. I just love it. So I was just watching that in the bath. I'm just putting on some Morphe lilla, Lippy Lullaby Lip Mask, cause I love it. I also put on an exfoliating mask whilst I bathed, which uh, is the Charlotte Tilbury exfoliating mask. Um, just waiting for Phil to get back. We need to change the bed sheets and I'm not doing it on my own. Well, I've put, I stripped the bed this morning I'll wash the old bed sheets. Um, I need to put the new ones on. I'm not doing it on my own. Especially this particular duvet set because it's like velvet and weighs a ton. And I'm gonna guarantee that he's gonna kick off about it and I'm not gonna have any of his shit. Cause I've just cleaned the kitchen. I put all the dinner things away. We ate the HelloFresh thing that we had. But once we've done it, we can have our mini Magnum in bed and watch some Squid Game. He's like, oh, but I need a shower. That's what I'll say. I'm at work all day, just want to lay down. That's what he'll say. You mark my words. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Mama. How are you? Okay. How, was, how was tennis? Yeah, it was good. I've got some bad news. What? We need to make the bed. Phil! <laughs> What's very bad? I bet my on my vlog that you would really kick off about having to do the bed. Because you normally do. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Dee Dee Loli! Got my tea, got my magnum. Phil's had two desserts. Come on, darlings! Here they are. Come on. Come on, Loli. Hi. Hi, girls. Here he is. Mr. Two Dessert Man over here. Yeah, got to keep it rolling, isn't it? Alexa, turn the neon off. Thank ya. Your favourite part of the day. It is. Today's ice cream of choice, Phil got these from a Asda on the way home, is the Mini Magnum Double Raspberry. That is me done for the day. It's bedtime. I'll see you in the morning. Oh. Good night.
better. <laughs> the French, eh? <laughs> it's 7.43. I'm going to the gym this morning. I've just drank this, my morning coffee that Phil made in my takeaway cup. I'm gonna go get the gym out of the way. Haven't been, actually haven't been in since Thursday. It's now Tuesday. I went to go, oh yeah, I went to go on Friday last week. And even though we had like the family over, I was like, I'm just gonna get up really early and I got to the gym for 7 a.m. before we had anything like planned. I, went, I got to the gym and within five minutes of me being there, I got a migraine. I was standing there with a weight and I was like, something's not right. I can't really see that well. And then I just knew. Ugh. So I ran David Lloyd into Asda got my mic relief and then I sat I rang Phil and told him what happened we had Friday off and he came uh, he got dropped off and then he just drove my car home with me and increasingly getting frustrated because I haven't had migraines for like two or three years and then in the last couple of months I've had three so no idea what's happening here there's a shopping trolley in the hedge see you in there Oh, 63 minutes. I did treadmill, then a bunch of different circuits. Uh, it was good fun. I know what she'll be doing. She'll be on her back, being a stupid head. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go, go for a walk. I'm washed and dressed. Done my skincare. Gonna do my makeup when I film. Feelings and faves, put on my face, that kind of vibe. I've got some IKEA stuff delivered to help store the t-shirt better. And um, in my excited state, just decided to get all the t-shirts out and uh, see how well they fitted in. So yeah, I've got these little bins now, so I'm gonna, I've got some labels on the way. I'm gonna print out some labels. You can see, look at that. Yay! So these are the medium skull print. They live in there. And in here we have a uh, Sunny Bones logo t-shirt. This evening I'm going to continue to wrap them in the... Um, like refold them and wrap them in this stuff. I actually love doing it. It's really relaxing. And they have my um, folding thing here. I just like to be organised, so I'm just going to shift all this shit out of the way and then I can start filming. Finally bloody ready to film now. Took long enough, set this room up, get the ball going. I am done with my filming. I have therapy in an hour and a half, roughly. So, let's try and get a good stab at this before that starts. One video down and edited. Thumbnail, thumbnail made. But now I'm just gonna head down to the house and have my therapy session. Because the internet is just a bit better down there and it's more reliable, so. Why has it just all of a sudden gone to like arctic conditions? Oh no, have I got it wrong? Did I get it wrong? No. No, I did get it right. Did I get it wrong? I saw a missed call at 20 past two. <laughs> I'm in a duvet because it's really cold. I'm so cold. That was interesting. I don't know how it always happens, but <laughs> I always find that like I'll go in there, I'll go to therapy, I'll start therapy, and I feel like I don't have anything really to talk about because I'm feeling fine and, you know, like, life's good and, you know, there's nothing really to report. But then, we'll end up just throwing, I'll be thrown into a conversation where I'm like, oh, 
how have we just spoken about this for an hour and um, we ended up talking about how we ended up talking about like routine and how I get frustrated where I feel like I need routine but I also feel like I work better if I'm like I crave routine but I'm rubbish at sticking to one um, and then we started talking about like how I always feel like I need to stick to routine and be busy all the time because of like I suppose this internal guilt that I get for the job that I do this constant feeling that I not this constant but often feeling like I don't have a real job or that I don't work hard um, and that's through you know I, I that's just through experiences that I've had from other people telling me that you don't have a real job well, that's not real and really downplay it you know um, okay I don't want that um, and how almost I feel like subconsciously feel like I have something to prove and now I'm getting better at being a bit more fluid and being a bit less givey fucky give a fuck but he said something really really that I was like oh my god that is so true but I mean I've had people people that I know people that are supposed to be close to me and then complete strangers tell me that I don't work a real job and I've got it easy and that I don't work hard all that sort of stuff like it's not a real job all that sort of stuff right he said basically something along the lines of I can't feel guilty for things that people have pinned on to me. Like, I shouldn't feel guilt. I need to take control. I need to take control of me and what I think and the way I do things and own it, essentially. And I'm getting better at that. And I've also come to realise that maybe my routine just is the morning thing, where I get up, have my coffee, walk the dogs or go to the gym or vice versa, whichever way I want to play it have my breakfast, have a shower. That's that's the only routine that I have in my day. And the rest of the day, I do whatever feels right, whatever, like, whatever's happening that day, I just do. If I'm in the mood, to, if I'm not in the mood to film because I don't have the energy to do it. Filming, like, videos like this, you can't just sit down and do it regardless. You've got to have that pizzazz, I feel. Like, it's, you can't just... Sometimes I just don't want to film, so I won't film because I don't want... I'm not in the mood for it. I'm not feeling like I've got the good vibes. So I will just navigate the rest of my day by what I want to do and what feels right. And that's fine. I've got nothing to prove to anyone else. And that's very liberating and freeing. And uh, I'm very happy that we ended up having that conversation because now I feel like a free woman. I'm now going to start wrapping and folding the Sunny Bones tees. I originally, I started the other week, but then I ran out of these bags, so I had to order more. Then I got busy, didn't have the time to sit down and do it again. I'm going to do it this evening whilst Phil's working. Just a good time to get on with it. Basically, I've got my t-shirt folder here. So I fold it over. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, you got your t-shirt is now folded. Then you grab your bag, get, once you get into the rhythm, it, you, you can do it really quickly. Stick it down. Medium sticker. Done. See you on the flip side. I said that earlier today, didn't I? See you on the flip, flippity flip. Flippity flippity. Right, so I did all of these mediums. There's loads, there's loads. And I did all the smalls. Um, I've still got those to do. To be honest, it's not taking as long as I thought it would. I did this in an hour. There's loads of them. Look at these cool little boxes I got from Ikea. They're actually waste bins. But I think they're great because you can stack them. It is a very late dinner tonight. But this is some um, minestrone I made. Weird TV that Phil watches. I'm going to watch some... Carry on watching Sex Education. Continue watch. Ah, it was there. It's the time of the day. It's the time of the day. I'm in the duvet with my magnum. In the corner of the sofa. Watching TV. What a great way to end the day. I'm still here. No, I went to bed. <laughs> I have been to bed. But I didn't have to be anywhere till 11, so I'm just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Back down on the sofa. It's so cosy. I've got the girls 
underneath here as well, snoring away and watching more Sex Education. I've got one more episode of uh, season two. I need you to do me a favour. So I've this. I've got a copy on the go as well. It's well good. Hey, baby. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that place I said I had to be at 11. Uh, well, it's 11 and I'm at that place where I said I needed to be, which is B P PT. I've just been sat on the sofa all morning. It's been great. I was in my duvet. I was watching Sex Education. I've been told I've got a horrible session today. <laughs> What's the damage? I've already seen she's got the bike out and the so prowler. Like write it all down so I don't lose track of the numbers. And this has been moved by, I don't know, I don't know. Basically, we're gonna do like X amount of calories on the air bike, X amount of meters on the row, um, and then burpees, prowler, and squat jumps, but in like a circuit, and then you can break it up yeah. how you see fit. So I'm just gonna, wait a minute. Well, that sounds bloody delightful. I'm just deciding whether I want it to be, um... <laughs> what? 50k pals on the bike. You've got 100 burpees. So. 100 burpees? Yeah, broken up, completely broken I did burpees up. yesterday. Did yeah, self inflicted. Oh. <laughs> this is the remains of one of your other clients because you pushed them too hard. They died. <laughs> that's all that's left of them. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. 50 calories on the bike. 100 burpees, 20 prowler lengths, 100 squat jumps, 100 reps, and 2,000 metres on the rower. But how you want to do it? I'll start on the bike and then maybe give yourself an aim like 15 calories or 20 calories. If you can keep going, do. But if you want to stop, you can. Then you can be like, right, I'm going to do two lengths of the prowler, then I'm going to do 20 rope slams, then I'm going to do 10 burpees, 10 squat jumps, and then 200 meter row then you can rest as much as you want as well and then when you feel ready we'll go again you could if you want to try and get 20 burpees out of the way you can if you want to do 50 squat jumps you can so you could end up doing like cancelling some of them off as you go Does that makes sense yeah i'll start on here Bloody awful, but I completed it. <laughs> I completed it. She said to me that she was actually using me as a guinea pig for a fitness challenge that she wants to set up for the boot camp. And uh, but she said to that when she does it with a boot camp, she'll do it in teams of people and they have to complete it together. <laughs> so made me do it on my own. Now I'm going to Connor's house because um, we're going to record some backing vocals for when we play our gig on Friday. We've got some backing vocals for all of our songs because we don't have backing vocalists and I think that the harmonies and stuff are very integral for the sound of our, our music, so that's all it is. And as cruel as it feels, I need to be real for me. You're not the perfect guy. Be aware, I still care. I need you every day. You know how to drag them on, don't you? Yeah. So make sure that one's the click. Make sure that one's the track. Yeah. Um, I'm home. And we have to keep the doors shut now because I put the heating on. I'm home. I just had a spot of lunch. Just had a bit of salmon and some rice. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go down to the office again to continue packing these t-shirts. <laughs> last two days I've packed 268 t-shirts this is so satisfying so I bought these um, 
bins, they're scoop, scuba or something like that from Ikea. They're waste bins, I think they use them for recycling and stuff. But I thought they'd be a really good way to store my t-shirts. This is so satisfying, you'll not believe. This was not calculated. I did not realise this when I bought them, but I had this great idea. How satisfied is that? They fit perfectly in this gap in my in my office. So, look, you just open them. It's medium. We've got some, these are lot small. And then another style, then we have some more in there. You just grab them and pack them. How good is that? Uh, so when you order, it's gonna be a nice streamlined service because it's all properly sorted out now. I mean, not like it went before, it was fine, but it just took up a lot of space in my office. So now it's just, come, it's just here. Oh, I'm so satisfied. This is dinner tonight. I'm gonna try and talk to it so you can see it even better. Whoa, I made a stir fry. It's a mushroom stir fry. Does it look good, Philip? Mmm. 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 The reason I started Ooh. SpaceX was. The reason I started SpaceX. Episode 3. Oh, God. Ha! Huh. Good morning in the same place as yesterday, don't worry. I didn't sleep in these. I'm not just like, I don't just live in this outfit, no. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym this morning. I've just walked the dogs. And then straight after, I'm just gonna go meet my niece, Emily, for a coffee. Cause she's like, yeah, should you give her coffee? I'm like, yeah, bitch. I didn't do as much as I'd like to today. And for my advice for anyone, some people ask me like, what's your workout routine? My advice would be go in with a plan, if you can. I generally, I generally, I mean I can write down some ideas for workouts. My workouts are inspired by what we do at boot camp, more or less, sort of. Um, except I sort of change it up a bit. So I always start with some cardio like to warm up so that'll be either 20 minutes on the cross trainer or treadmill uh, followed by like some a variation of doing different weights I always do sets of three three or four with like 10 reps of whatever it is 10 to 15 reps or if I'm lifting like heavy it will be less or like till I can't do any more um, but generally speaking I'll do I'll, I always sort of group things so I'll do like uh, I think that I think they're called supersets. So you'll do like, for example, a superset could be burpees, squat, jump, push-ups, and you do 10 to 15 of each. Repeat that three times. So, but one into the other. So you'll do 10 burpees, then into 10 squat jumps, then into 10 push-ups. A minute rest. Do it again and then you repeat that three or four times. And so I'll call that a circuit or a superset and I'll put like four or five of them into my workout. So you could have, yeah, burpees, squat jumps, push-ups. Then you could do cycle crunch, um, mountain climbers, jump lunge. Generally, I kind of like to try and mix it up so the whole body gets a bit of work. And then if, I'm, if I also implement some weight training as well, I'll do like a different part of the body each day. So. Although I started with squats today, I did predominantly do arms and chest. Oh yeah, or you can start, sorry, with your warm up uh, with a thousand meters on the rower. That's what I do when I go to PT. And then I, yeah, I'll finish with something really fucking gross. Like it might be a hundred lunges or, oh my God, that, 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 hundred lunges or um, like today I did, I'm over here. Today I did, uh, up and down with the prowler, which is like this sled thing, followed by into 10 ball slams. And I just repeated that three, four times. That was minging, I could taste my lactic acid. And your heart rate just goes really, really up. And here she is, my beautiful angel. She's, um, okay, we've got two things to point out. First thing, I'm sick. She's sick. With a cold. With a cold. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> and then also her earrings are bottle openers. 
which uh, to all my wine lovers out there, legendary. We're in Mazzano's at the Forum just having a coffee. It's a very nice place to come for and it's relatively cheap. I got a large, she got a mocha, it was five pounds. So I'm home, stop my weird music, um, and I am just sorting out the havoc that I started yesterday. And then I've brought in my storage boxes for all my bits and bobs, and I just need to sort it all out. Oh my God. I am going to band practice. I finished, no, I haven't finished. I sorted so much out in the office. I did manage to put on my collax unit because I just didn't have, just didn't have the time. Because um, I spent all afternoon just building new shelves, other shelves, reorganising things. And as much as you probably would have wanted to see all that, I was just so focused and in to doing it. I was like, I cannot be distracted. I just have to shh, shh, like that. I was in a daze. I was just in a let's get this fucking done because I want to get it done. Yeah, but uh, I'm now off to band practice. It's our last one before our gig tomorrow. Andrew's popping down at St. Andy in like, I would probably say like a month or two to see how we're getting on. I've got all the bits that we need. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, band practice was great last night. I am just making sure that this is working for the gig tonight. I have just reconfigured it, checking it through now. This is our sample pad. So this is where any like backing vocals or like extra bits of percussion or keyboard come in. Obviously moving forward, when we play bigger shows, we'll, we will get a keyboard player to play the keyboard parts. And maybe in the mega future, I might even have backing singers. But I think it's quite integral for the sound of our music to have all the layers of vocals. So this will do that. So the drummer will hit this pad here. And all he'll hear in his headphones is this very loud click so he can stay in time. And it will also at the same time activate this pad, which has just the backing on. So he doesn't want to hear that. He just wants to hear the click so he can keep us in time. So he'll hear four beats, one, two, three, four, and then he'll click in four, and then the song will start. I hope that makes sense. It's really hard to sing along to a backing vocal with no other instruments, because I'm just like my, I'm like, where, where? I can't be in tune myself, my, my main vocal part, because it's so off-putting. Lex, be cool. It's hard, it's hard. Well, I'm the first one here for once. Um, just wait to load in and sound check. What? what time do you call this? I call this rock o'clock. <laughs> rock o'clock. <laughs> hey. Cool. JC. <laughs> JC and Hex friends.
Toasty, and I was going to show you all the toasty, but he's eating it in record timing. It's hungry. Hungry. You'll we'll tease it. Oh, I'll put my TV in here. So have you had a good night? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the gig? It was lovely. Oops. Yeah, it was great. And um, that was great. That was a really fun show. Like for our first show, it was a good. Met some nice people. Foot in the door. You met some nice people. We both did. We both did, yeah, we did. It was lovely. Everyone was super nice. He's two two drinks on the go. <laughs> nah, it's great fun. Good day, it's it's Saturday. We started the day with Phil being hungover and ordering McDonald's to the bedroom. The the our Uber Eats driver came into our house and delivered to him his met no didn't he? Um, and then I've had a really chill day. Uh, my sister and my niece popped over for a coffee and for a few hours, having a catch up. And then I had a well good nap, a two hour nap on the sofa. It was bloody lovely. But I, had to, I woke up mid nap for a, you found it? No. Oh my God, we always, it's here. It's here. <laughs> Woman's touch. Um, <laughs> don't turn the big light off. Yeah, I, just, I had a nap. I had a woke up from my nap mid nap to have a wee and I was all right. I was um, <clears throat> half asleep though. I don't know why I was so tired. We had quite a late night last night, didn't we? In the end. Yeah. But we just had a Nando's takeaway. And um, Phil went to work for a bit. What are we gonna watch then? I'm trying to get him to watch Beetlejuice because he's never seen it. Mm. And you don't want to watch it. Can we put Beetlejuice on? No. Well then, will you pick something to watch? Yeah. Uh, well, give it a chance. He's the worst at picking a movie. I think we want, let, I'm gonna turn the torch on you. We spend more time watching trailers than actual movies. No, we're not watching that, it's a series. <laughs> Stop wasting time. <laughs> Guess what's live in the world right now? My new single. Been an exciting week for it, innit? First gig, new single, happy days. Good morning. Hello. It's Sunday and we're in the city. Why are we in the city? Gotta get my dad a birthday present. Uh -huh. And I'm hungry. I've been craving a croissant and coffee all week. And uh, so I'm gonna have it. Saved it for the weekend. My sister-in-law told us last week when they were visiting about dipping the pastry in the coffee. It's a French thing apparently. I've never heard of it. I've seen it, but I thought it was a disaster. But it's, great. it's so good. Changing. Yeah. So I kind of stopped thinking about it all week. I wanted the almond and chocolate because it's so good. <laughs> You've got the raspberry and pistachio? Yeah, banging. Banging. And this is our view. Although I'm slightly jealous because yours is twice the size of mine. We can have some if you like. I'm so nice to him. Whenever um, I imply that he shares something with me, it's an instant no. I don't know. I don't think you deserve me. <laughs> Savage. Savage. That's so nice to you. He's Joey. Joey doesn't share food. Look at this dog. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, oh, I'm gonna break bits off. Oh my god. Oh no, I dropped the almond in there. Mm. It's probably a little less messy if you have a plain croissant. Oh wow. In the Dr. Martin's shop, I got a 
pair of Doc Martens, a new pair, Chelsea boots. I don't have any of them. And um, I think ever since I bought yours for you, I've been a little bit jealous. Mm, <laughs> so I got my own, but I got the ones at the quad sole. I'll show you when I get home. I'm looking for a shirt. M&S is, um, that is nice. It's um, becoming a very trendy, but a bit more young, isn't it? Oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fleecy too. I have got some nice shirts. What about... That's something like this. This is quite thick. It's sort of corduroy. Yeah, yeah. What about this brown one? Yeah, that is quite nice. It is nice. In a large. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's a bit more... Yeah. Right, let's get him a belt. That's nice. I'm really impressed with m &S. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very impressed with m &S. Well, hey. These are my... My... Okay, this is my goodies from today. Oh, look. So I bought these socks. These are the double dock socks, which are made essentially for breaking in your boots. Um, I don't think I'm going to have that much trouble with these ones, but mostly for wearing with the Jaden Max because they are deadly. Um, and I also got these laces for the Jaden Maxes as well. But hooray! I've not really owned a pair of Chelsea boots before. Um, so this is something that's a little less, uh, perhaps intimidating, I don't know, a little bit smarter than the lace-up ones, but yeah, I just thought they were for, for really nice, they're quite hard to get on, a bunch of foot's in it, it's all good, because obviously this is quite narrow and stiff at the minute, but the more and more I put them on, take them on and off, they'll, they'll loosen up, but yeah, well chuffed with them. Roast. Looks bloody dreadful. No, it, look, it looks fine, but the roasts that we've had recently have been out, so it's been beautifully presented. This is, this is a real roast. <laughs> no Yorkshire puddings though, because we couldn't be bothered to do them. Good chicken. Yeah. <laughs>